Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am back uh, for day two of testing the Xylo Freakstyle frame and uh, back at the park. Now, in the last video, the maiden that I did for the video, um, I was having issues with the VTX. Uh, the VTX seems to be stuck in pit mode, but I think I found the remedy for that. Um, I've gone and downloaded the VTX tables for the Xylo controller itself and uh, I did it all at home so uh, let's take a look at that now. Okay guys so we're here in beta flight and uh, we're just here in the VTX table side of things and this is what I was talking about when I was out at the field doing the first maiden of the Xylo Freakstyle frame uh, or the Xylo Freakstyle kit. And as you can see, the VTX here is blinking uh, with pit mode. Um, the blinking green light indicates that it is pit mode. Um, the green uh, indicates that it is in 25 milliwatts. Now, in beta flight here, you can see that the power is at 25. Uh, the pit mode is on and the low power disarm uh, is on. But it doesn't matter if you change anything in here or let's uh, go on until first arm, no actually let's go on, let's turn pit mode off, when you save it, the pit mode comes back on, so it's like it's stuck in pit mode, and again doesn't, doesn't matter if you change the low power disarm to off, um, it just continually stays on, and let's, let's try and turn it off, save that, and again it comes back on. So I've done a bit of uh, looking around and trying to find out why it does this. Um, and as you can see, the pit mode on the VTX is still flashing. So when you build this, uh, Barwell tells you to go to a site uh, here, the Betaflight uh, VTX tables, and he gets you to download the this TBS, uh, which says it's used on most VTX uh, for smart audio, and you download the Smart Audio 2.0. And when you do that in Betaflight, um, I can't show you here because I've already got it down, the number of power levels only comes up as three, and you have to add in these numbers down the bottom as well. They don't seem to uh, pre-populate. So what I've decided to do is go to uh, Get FPV, and um, we get down here, obviously this is the Xylo uh, video transmitter. And uh, see down here they've got a VTX table for Smart Audio uh, for this particular uh, VTX. And it says, uh, VTO, uh, sorry, it says Smart Audio uh, 2.1 integration. Um, I've already downloaded this um, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, of the video um, so you can just go ahead and download uh, this for yourself so uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to copy the VTX information and load it into beta flight and hopefully that takes care uh, of the VTX always being in pit mode it's like a forever pit mode so we'll go ahead and do that we will load up I've got the uh, information here so we will copy all of this copy and then that'll go to our clipboard and then uh, from here and back here in beta flight we will load from clipboard And then everything in here should be the new information. So we will save that. Boom. And then let's see if that does anything to change. So if I want it off and I want pit mode off, we can change that. Mm, and it still doesn't seem to change it, but the VTX has changed and it's now no longer flashing, so it's not, it doesn't seem to be in pit mode there. So I'm going to change this back to on until first arm, and we will look at C 
saving that. And now pit mode has gone off. So pit mode is off, but the VTX itself is still flashing as if it is in pit mode. Over here, we've got the devices ready, so it knows that it's talking to the VTX. Uh, the power is here, pit mode says no. So let's see if we can put pit mode on and save that. And that has saved, so that's perfect. And we will go back up to the field and try that. And hopefully, everything works. So hopefully, that is actually going to work. And uh, I won't get any signal breakup when I head behind these trees over here, which are probably less than 100 meters away, uh, 100 meters away maximum. So uh, I'm going to get this bird in the air and uh, do a quick test of that first. So uh, let's roll. OK, so there is a bit of wind, but I've just taken out a pit mode and my VTX is looking good. I can see the battery voltage better today because I've moved everything in beta flight. But let's uh, change that. It's 25 milliwatts at the moment and there is no P, so let's change it on the uh, Lua scripts. So let's bump it up to 100. Let's save that, get out of the menu, and everything looks like it's good. It has changed it in the OSD, so I'm fogging up the screen. So. Go for a quick fly and see what it's like. Now, I have put it back on uh, default rates because, oh, sorry, default PIDs. Um, I've got my own rates in here at 850 um, because I want to actually just tune this for my style of flying. There's a bit of wind, so let's have a little look-see. Let's go behind these trees again. And normally, about here, I was getting bracket, but I can see pretty clearly now. It's at 100. So we're pretty good there so far. Everything seems good in terms of the VTX now. It's pretty clear. Let's go down here where uh, last time. I came behind this, this, this tree here for sure. There was a lot of bit of break up there. I am only on 100, so there's a bit of break up here still. But I can see I was getting full break up behind there and full break up behind these other trees down this way. So let's, I'm going to fly along this tree line and block myself right off from there. Okay, so everything looks good. It is a bit of break up there, but I'm on 100. Uh, 100 milliwatts and a bit of flying here, so. so everything is feeling good. It is on uh, it is on default PIDs. I've got my rates at 157 for the roll, 157 for the uh, for the pitch, and it's uh, 800 800 and something for. Uh, your, I think it's 800 for your. So it's feeling all right. It does it's a bit bloody floaty, of course, because of the default pits. But but everything feels pretty good. Apart from this wall, which is pretty pretty rough way down here in terms of the VTX and my video signal, but uh, feels pretty good. So I'm just going to bring this in. This battery's not done yet, but but uh, let's uh, <laughs> couldn't figure out which arm switch it was. So. Now I'm going to uh, do some pit tuning and uh, just so you know I had it on Bardwell's custom pits that he set up for the quad. Uh, mine's obviously set up a little bit different, different battery, different GoPro and stuff so um, they didn't work for me. I found it that there was a lot of um, high pitch oscillation, sounds like a cricket kind of going 
uh, mid oscillation in the throttle um, and a lot of prop wash. I am going to do some pitch tuning and then we will come back and uh, give this quad a good old fly around and see how it actually performs the way I like it to fly. Okay, so there's a bit of wind around, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I've basically got it about where I want it. Still a little bit of prop wash there, um, so it's going to be a little bit of tuning. So I've got a few batteries left, and I'm just going to fly around and actually uh, see how good this quad actually is. One thing that I do notice, though, is the camera is... Uh, let's go over here so you can see it. The camera is actually seeing this, the top of this mount. So um, there's, you know, a couple of spots just up in the camera view um, through the OSD um, or through the goggles rather um, but other than that the VTX is now working um, the low power disarm is working so uh, now I can change that uh, it does stay in 25 uh, milliwatts until I arm it for the first time and then it bumps it up to whatever I've got it set at and at the moment it's only set at 100 milliwatts um, so I think I might bump that up as well for these next couple of flights and uh, cruise around and then I'll come back with, let's say, my final thoughts of uh, the Zylo Freakstyle. We'll go from there. Let's get a better in. Go again.
okay so final thoughts uh it's pretty sturdy <laughs> i crashed a lot these props are pretty beat up already um but nothing else the frame seems pretty good i've smashed it a couple of times uh, into the trees so the frame's good nothing to worry about there um, everything is working now the vtx works on uh, low power disarm uh, bumps right up from the 25 milliwatts uh, up to whatever i've set it at and the camera the xylo camera which is uh, actually a cadex camera um, real clear i can see a lot of detail more so um, than on my kiss quad which is uh, i think it's a run cam swift 2 it's a really old camera um, and that's only like i think it was 600 tv now tv lines um, and this is a thousand uh, i believe so yeah a couple of crashes it's held up pretty well um, i like it i do like it these props though um, they do draw a fair bit of amperage and i'll i'll figure out what that is and i'll i'll, I'll put a little screenshot up um, the motors they're not hot um, i've flown seven packs basically one after the other and um slightly warm slightly warm uh yeah really good quad i like it so far uh it's held up to a bit of abuse in the trees so that's good uh, what else can i say about it uh the oh lollipop's a bit bent uh yeah like i say the camera here does see the front of um the frame uh, at I think it's 20 degrees I've got the set at tw between 20 and 25 anyway um, and I do see the top of the frame um, I got used to it but initially it was quite annoying the flight control and everything it handles really well um, I've still got a bit of prop wash so there's still a little bit of tuning to go through um, and I'll, uh, I'll look to do that in the future but if you want to build the quad there's a link in the description uh, to my build video it's pretty average <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe go and watch Joshua Bardwell's video on the actual build. Um, but if you want to watch mine for a bit of a laugh, go have a look. Link in the description. Uh, and also, um, there is a link in the description uh, to the original maiden of this quad, uh, where I find out a few of the little bugs with the VTX. But that's all fixed. And that'll do it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.